Hi, this is John Hillbrand. Today I'm going to discuss using the power of your brand new TV to solve your remote issues. It's called HDMI CEC. And what it has the power to do when I turn the power on this remote, my Blu-ray player, it'll turn on my TV. When I uh, make it do something like go to the home screen, it'll change the input. So the nice features of that is I'm not using some weird universal remote. I'm using the remote that I should be using. So it solves that whole thing. It's more intuitive for the user. And remember, there is a classic, or I shouldn't say classic, but there's a Modern Family episode where Phil teaches Haley how to use the remote of the TV. It is absolutely hilarious the amount of steps he makes them go through to turn on the TV and get to the right input and get the surround sound processor. But I think that's true for a lot of people. I mean, I hear um, I hear uh, uh, my favorite radio personality having the same issue, Leo Laporte, <laughs> I'm talking to you, that he says he has to leave a book for his wife. I mean, these are people that really know tech, but maybe don't got that CEC down yet. So let's go what it does so everybody can start using it. All right? So first off, here is my Blu-ray player. It is a $60 Blu-ray player. It's called a Sony BDP S3700. I guess it's 80 now. I paid 60. I got it at Walmart. Um, but it doesn't have any weird advanced functions, but the new HDMI CEC is something that almost everything has. Now, when I put the home button down and I'm pointing it at my Blu-ray player, look at that. It turned my TV to the right input. Isn't that intuitive? Doesn't that solve things? It's not world hunger, but man, it really is something we've wanted forever. Without going crazy, we can um, do the same thing with my, my TiVo. Look at that, and this is a 10-year-old TiVo, and it did the exact same thing of CEC. So we, uh, we uh, I can, <clears throat> We can watch TV and we don't have to go back to our regular remote that came with the TV. Let's go back to our home button. And there is one other feature that we have. Now you can see that there's a green light on my Blu-ray player and a green light on my uh, TiVo. So they're both on. So this is called standby return. I'm going to hit the power on my TV. Now let's look at those lights. Look at that. The green light on my TiVo turned on pretty much instantly and so turned off rather and so did my um, Blu-ray player. So basically the standby return turned those standby devices off. So amazing features. Let's see how we do to set it up because one of the things people won't do is they'll wire their TV the way they wired it last time and you might have to change a few settings. So let's go ahead and go to that. Let's first go over to settings and we're going to go into our inputs and we're going to, oops, that's not where we go. <laughs> we're going to go up to settings and now we're going to go to our inputs. And now we see CEC, control other devices. You see these little radio buttons on the, on the right there? Now, this radio button was already on for me. That let me realize that some magic was happening and I didn't quite understand it, but then I checked into it. Then I saw that I could do this, power on. That was when I showed you that when I turned on my Blu-ray player, it turned on my TV. Nice. Standby, when I turned off my TV, it turned off my standby devices. Pretty simple, right? But so nice to have those functions on you and all you had to do was hit the radio button but the second thing i wanted to point out is they do have to have both of the inputs of our blu-ray player and our uh, uh tivo go into the tv so that means you might have to wire it differently because the old way of wiring was we would wire them into our surround sound processor and then do a single wire up to our TV. Now we have to do independent HDMIs, but we have to have a sound return 
so that we can do our surround sound. So my surround sound return is a digital audio return, but you can also do a third HDMI as an audio return to your surround sound as well. And then you get some more power uh, going into that. Uh, uh, my, my receiver doesn't have that function, but then you'll get a little better sound profiles. 5.1 though is fine to do a digital audio out and a digital audio into my surround sound. But imagine how cool that is, that you no longer have to be uh, throwing your shoe at a remote at your TV or, or throwing the remote through the window or whatever you're doing because you're so angry and you don't have to have all that craziness of, of uh, how to use your TV. Um, if this solves your problem, give me a good thumbs up and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.